In today's video, I have a Dyson AM9. The cool thing about this particular fan is that it's... I'm Tech Steve, and about a year ago, I made a video on this fan right here, and the great thing I liked about it is that it's a fan and heater in one. But what if you could take a fan, a heater, and an air purifier and wrap it all in one? Well, that's what you get. This is the HP1. And the thing is that this is the one I'm gonna start using because it actually cleans the air as it cools it, as well as heat it. So sit back and relax, and let me tell you all about it. Let's take a closer look at the Dyson HP01. This is a fan, heater, and air purifier. And here's a quick example of what the hot and cold settings look like. It also comes with this remote control that magnetically sticks to the top of the unit and because of that, you have less chances of misplacing the remote control, which it needs to operate. The built-in HEPA filter can capture up to 99.7% of allergens as small as 0.3 microns. And this is great for people who have allergies, pets, or just a lot of dust in the home. Taking a closer look at the remote control, you have your power button. This is where you put in fan mode. You can change the speed up and down right there. This is where you put in heater mode and you can change the temperature up and down right there. You have your timer, oscillating mode, and your different fan settings. This fan also protects itself whether it's hot or cold settings. So you can see it's running right there, but watch what happens when I knock it over. You can see it turned itself off. Now let's try the heater mode. The same thing. So overall, this fan is a lot more quieter than your traditional fan. So I set up a demo, so let's go check it out. I'm not gonna say that that fan's really loud, but I know when I used to use that kind of fan when I was watching TV, I had to really turn the volume up on the television to be able to hear what it's saying. But let's see how it fares against the HP01. So as you can see, it's much quieter than a traditional fan, but now let me show you the filtration system so you can see what parts you need to change if you decide to get something like this. It's a good idea to change your filter every once in a while, but all you need to do is there's some press buttons here. Just press them in. One thing I like about this particular fan is that you can easily clean it. So this is gonna collect the dust so it doesn't collect on the outside. And then you can just wipe this off, you know, whenever it's unplugged with a, a towel of some sort. And just remember, this type of filter is gonna help those allergies, also get those dust mites and things like that that's floating in the air. I wish this fan had a base, but since it doesn't, I had to sit on the desk, but you can also tilt it up and back if you have it on a desk or on the floor to help out just a little bit more. And just so you guys know, the heater portion used 1575 watts and the fan portion uses 44 watts at maximum speed. It takes about 27 minutes to purify a 139 square foot room and it also helps with carbon monoxide. It is recommended if you use it 12 hours a day that you change the filter at least once a year and that's going to cost you about $67. The last thing I want to tell you guys is that this is the HP01 but they make a HP01 Series 2 which has Wi-Fi built in so you can use the Dyson app to control it. 
The newer model is the HP04, and that one's a little bit more automatic because what it does is it has sensors in it that when it sees the air quality not being good, it kicks in the filter automatically. Keep in mind, this is a fan, not an air conditioner unit, so don't expect it to cool off a room that's really hot. Also, the heater does take some time to heat up, but it does work really well in the room that I use it in, and that's about 12 foot by 15 foot most of the time. Personally, I'm not here to justify the cost of Dyson fans. I can only tell you that I've been using them and I really like them. And I think maybe you get one, you might love it or you might hate it, that's up to you guys. But if you'd like to know more, I'm gonna leave all that information in the comments below. And while you're down there, leave a comment like you did on my last video. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.